Hello everyone. Welcome back to Microbio Solutions. Today we are going to discuss about introduction to Enterobacteriaceae. We will see what is meant by Enterobacteriaceae and what are the general features of classifying the bacteria under the family Enterobacteriaceae. So Enterobacteriaceae organisms are ubiquitous in nature which means they are widely distributed in the soil, water and plants. They are also present as a part of normal intestinal flora of humans and animals. So, this bacteria comes under the family Enterobacteriaceae except Salmonella and Shigella are the normal inhabitants of intestinal flora of both humans as well as animals. Thus, they are also called as coliform bacteria. Since they are the commensals of intestine, they are also called as coliform bacteria. And members of this family Enterobacteriaceae are non-sporic, which means they do not produce any spores. They are non-acid fast and also moderately sized gram negative bacilli. So, Enterobacteriaceae organisms are gram negative bacilli and they are motile by peritricus flagella or non-motile without any flagella. So, under Enterobacteriaceae family, there are motile organisms as well as non-motile organism and they are aerobic and facultative anaerobic. They are not obligative anaerobic organisms in Enterobacteriaceae. They are aerobic as well as facultative anaerobic organism and they grow readily on ordinary media because they are not fastidious. Since the bacteria comes under Enterobacteriaceae are non fastidious, they can grow on ordinary media like nutrient agar and they ferment sugars with the production of acid with or without gas. Okay. They ferment sugars, especially glucose. All the bacteria comes under Enterobacteriaceae, ferment the sugar, glucose, with the production of acid, with or without the production of gas. And they reduces nitrate to nitrite and they are catalase positive. They produce the enzyme catalase which will reduce hydrogen peroxide into hydrogen and releases nascent oxygen. So, this is a characteristic feature of the family Enterobacteriaceae and this organisms are oxidase test negative. They are oxidase negative. So, oxidase test is an important test by which the members of this Enterobacteriaceae family are being distinguished from other fermentative and non-fermentative gram-negative bacilli. We know there are variety of gram-negative bacilli causing human infection. In order to differentiate the bacteria across the family, we can always go for an oxidase test. This oxidase test distinguish between Enterobacteriaceae and other gram-negative bacilli. Enterobacteriaceae are always oxidase negative. And the members of the family Enterobacteriaceae show a variety of biochemical as well as antigenic heterogeneity among themselves. They do not show a common biochemical or they do not share any common antigenic properties. And Enterobacteriaceae organisms causes a variety of diseases in humans. And also, it is important that we are not getting confused with Enterobacteriaceae with Enterococci. This is a common mistake that can happen to everyone. So, don't get confused with Enterobacteriaceae with Enterococci. Enterococci is a gram-positive cocci where Enterobacteriaceae is a family of gram-negative bacilli. And they are classified into different tribes. The Burgess Manual, Kaufman and Edwards Evin classifications 
are the three widely used method for classifying the members of family Enterobacteriaceae. And all these methods have nearly the same type of approach for the classification of bacteria. They classify Enterobacteriaceae into eight different tribes. And as per the method, the family Enterobacteriaceae is divided into many major groups or tribes. The major groups are coming into eight different tribes. And each tribe consists of one or more subgenera or genera and the each genus consists of many species which are classified into different types such as biotypes, serotypes, collision types and bacteriophage types etc. So these are the salient features of the family Enterobacteriaceae. To summarize, they are gram-negative bacilli, they grow on ordinary media, they are catalyzed positive, they are oxidase negative, they can reduce nitrates to nitrites, they can ferment sugars and they are not fastidious. This is about today's class. If you have any queries, please post it in the comment section. Please do like, share, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.